Hey guys, this is Jerry, or is it point for kids first? Today we are reviewing the new film, The Experimenter. I think this film is very unique, it's, and I think that the acting is just extraordinary. The story starts when a young scientist from Yale is doing a very interesting type of experiment. experiment. So pretty much how it works is that two people come in, a learner and a teacher. The learner goes into a room and the teacher asks the learner questions. He has to memorize like a phrase and if the learner gets the phrase wrong after the teacher tests the learner, the teacher gives him a shock. Now of course this isn't real, it's kind of a simulated experience. The creepy thing is, is that 65% of the test subjects kept shocking him until he would be dead and because uh, some authority told him to. And the, the scientist kind of did this as a experiment because he's very connected to the Holocaust. Uh, it only happened a little bit ago. It, the experiment took place in the 1960s. And it was just extraordinary to see how many people wanted to stop so badly, but then this authority is telling them, keep going, keep going. We need to continue the experiment. And it was just so interesting. I think the film, I think the film does a pretty good job of showing this. I do think the film stretched out way too much. The directing definitely could have been better. A lot of the camera shots, I think, are nice. I love how they do it so, like, he, it's just a normal scene, then bam, and, like, everybody around him pauses, and he kind of just walks around telling his thoughts. I do like that, but it's just so stretched out. Half the scenes aren't necessary. It kind of gets boring after a while. But I just think that the psychology behind the film and the idea is that so many people think this experiment is wrong, and that this is this shouldn't have happened, that traumatized these people. I just think that people should understand what he's trying to show, that people would pretty much do what they did in the Holocaust if authority told them to. And he does bring up an interesting point, and I think that it's a fantastic job that they're making this film. I just think that was stretched out a bit too much. My favorite scene would probably be when they show one of the people who said, no, we, I am not doing this again. He was a Dutch person, I believe. He was a Dutch man who was a technician, so he understand how painful shock was. And after a few shocks, he pretty much got up and said, no, I am a technician. I understand how shocks feel, and I know how it understands to feel one again and again and again. I do not want to continue to do this, and I will not continue doing this. But it's still interesting that only 35% of the people, and they tested like around 2,000 subjects, I believe, over the course of almost a year, decided to go all the way to 450 volts, would pretty much kill somebody. And it was just so interesting to see that, and I think it is a very unique and important message that they should make, that, that people should see this film, that if a normal civilization in the United States and a normal civilized person would go ahead and do this until the person is dead? I just really think that people should see this and understand it's very wrong, even if authority is telling you to, to not do it. You have your own free will. Each human being has their own free will. And I just think that it's a great message. This film is pretty mature because of the whole experiment they're doing. So I give it an age rating of, I would say maybe 10 to 18. I still think kids should see this because it is a really important message. Then they can teach their kids that and all of that. Kind of pass the message down that no authority can ha has to tell us what to do. We have our own free will. And I give this film, I would say, 4 out of 5 stars. Because although it was a little bit stretched out and boring at times, I still think that the film is very unique, very nicely done in many aspects, including acting, by the way. Acting is very nice. And I just think that the message is very important. Kudos to them for making this film because it is a very important film. If you'd like to see The Experimenter, it comes out in theaters near you October 16th. I'm Jerry Orr signing off. Bye!